What's up guys, welcome back to Exotic Car Blacklist and today we have something crazy going on. My uncle just bought a GT350, so first and foremost, I gotta go take a look at that because I love cars, I don't care what the brand is, I don't care what the model is. If it's something that makes a noise, vroom, vroom, then your boy is gonna go check it out. So we're gonna take a drive, check that out, it's about an hour away. So during that time, we are going to finally break a thousand miles on the beast. And you know what that means? Once you break a thousand miles on the beast, I can unleash the ponies on it, right? So I haven't been able to do that yet. I haven't been able to make my launch control video. Haven't been able to make my eighth mile or my quarter mile video. That is coming. I had to wait until I broke it in so I could make the videos talking about how fast I can hit that quarter mile, that eighth mile on a closed track in Mexico. Mexico. Right, so, um, with that being said, we're about to take this drive down now. And also, I wanted to show you guys very humble beginnings on where I came from. Now, I'm not saying that I'm doing amazing and, uh, and I'm the richest person in the world or I got a lot of cash, but I'm in a situation right now currently to where I am financially stable and that is the best way to put it. So with that being said, I wanted to show you guys where I came from because I came from the back countries of Salisbury. And so if you guys are familiar with North Carolina, Salisbury is a little spot on the map there to where they have a very high crime rate and the FBI is there because of drugs. So I made it out. But with that being said, again, I want to show you guys where I came from, my home, and also want to take a look at my uncle's car, see if he'll crank it up, give us some noise out of it, and hit a thousand miles so I can start bringing you videos of craziness. But with that being said, let's hop in. Well, first, let's get this cold start. Then we're gonna hop in, then we're gonna roll. So let's cold start this beast up right now. So I am here in my uncle's GT350 and I've never personally taken a ride in one. This is going to be my first ride in it. Right here. And I've reviewed one, but I've never been able to take a ride in one. So this is clean GT350. And of course, of course. The beast is parked right here beside us, so you know we've been out here acting the fool. But we about to go for our first ride inside of GT350. I was only able to review it, so now we get an official ride in one. And it is a six-speed manual transmission. So let's see what chassis number this is. 1801. I think we might have broke loose going from first to second. I have never actually taken a ride in this, so this is a first for me right here, y'all. And how long you had it now? Two years. Two, two years? I just well, found it. Hand, and y'all, I just found out about this car maybe a month ago. He done had it for two years. I'll show you what kind of communication he be giving me right here, just to let y'all know. Somebody been cutting a fool over here. Oh, yeah. All kind of tracks on this road. Hey, 
Now this is the the tracks that I left from our launch that we just did. So, <laughs> look how long it is. <laughs> oh man, that was the second gear launch, and it's fun all through second gear too. So I finally let off because we started doing a wave a little bit. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just took a ride for the first time in our GT350 Mustang and my uncles. And we're gonna get up to shoot a video soon. Right now it's cold, the mountains are closing due to the snow. But we are gonna get up and we're gonna do some riding. I'm gonna bring you guys some videos of us riding around in the mountains doing some mountain runs. So with a drag car. I don't know man, people People be sleeping on these things. One thing I like about them is the versatility, especially with the wide body, how they fix the suspension issue where it's not as soft as it was previously in other models. So, yeah, let's go finish our video out. Let's go take our next step. I'm gonna show you guys where I came from because I didn't wake up one day and have a bunch of money. I gotta open the sunroof. It smells like car tires in here. January of this year, no, nah, December last year, to January this year, I had a 552 credit score because I went through a bunch of stuff with a divorce and it killed me. And I worked my ass off to get where I am now to get to be able to afford this car, to be able to be somewhat financially free. And I'm coming back to my tracks while I laid them 11s down. That's me right there, baby. That's me right there. Okay, so. <clears throat> It, it, it took me a while to get here. The reason I'm saying that is like, guys, keep working towards whatever you want to work towards. Manifest it, make it happen, because I promise you it can happen for it. Never in my wildest dreams would I have ever thought I'd walk away with a brand new 2020 Scat Pack Watt body off the dealership lot, especially in one with a rare color. So I'm hoping that they don't make more than 400 in this wide body color, you know, since they made 600 overall last year. But it's only a hope, so I don't know. We'll see what they do with it. What's up, guys? So I'm about to show you where I came from now. This is literally where I was born and raised down here. So I came from very, very, very humble beginnings. Um, I don't even think you can get down this road anymore. I used to live down here. I was born and raised literally right down here. My best friend stayed over there and I'm actually about to turn around and back up now and go back the other way because I don't want to raise any alarms being down here but this is literally where I came from this is this is where I started I started here people come from different backgrounds and whatnot when they you know uh, grow up and and move but this is this is literally this is where I came from so I used to live like we had a house our house was right there when I stayed right there we didn't have heat no we did have heat but we had an inside unit we didn't have air conditioner and we had a trailer that sat literally right there where the woods are now and this is literally where i was, was born here and then we moved further up the street up that direction but this is literally this is where i, I come from this is how i started and i mean it's all like you know surreal when you think about it because this is i literally did not wake up one day and wake up in a better situation like i literally started with nothing and i worked my way up to where i am now but this is literally where i came from and my best friend name is joe and i haven't spoke to him in a while and i had a friend named uh levi that stayed right there this is literally where i came from so <clears throat> i don't want you guys to think that like 
I was born into anything because I really I really wasn't born into anything. I know my car about to be dirty now, but I'ma also show you where we moved from. This is that's where we moved where I was born at and I remember being there literally with like no heat, no AC besides that little unit, but that was also, you know, just humble beginnings in the beginning period. So but yeah, this is this is this is my life. Alright, y'all saw so there used to be a dog that stayed in this house here. And the dog name was DOG. And DOG did some crazy things, bro. We used to ride bikes down this road. DOG used to chase us, like legit chase us. And when he was come after us, bro, be full force. He never let a we never let him catch us because we didn't know what bro was trying to do to us. DOG was vicious. Straight, 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 vicious. And the OG was out for the blood, like the blood of the lamb. So we never let that man, that dog catch us. First of all, who names a dog the OG? Secondly, the dog was vicious, all right? So yeah, this my memories from coming up in this road, but bro, like, this is like humble beginnings right here because we, like I came from, I came from this. Like this is this is where I came from. And I live down that road right there. And I'm trying to decide on if I'm able to make it down there. And bro, I don't know. I don't think I'm able to make it down there, but once I get a bigger vehicle and come back down, I'll definitely go down that road so I can show you. Like that. I had an aunt that stayed down there. We lived down there. My neighbor up the hill used to fix our vehicles if one went down. I mean, man, it's many memories out here. My mailbox used to be over there. Um, I had, like, all this area was people that used to go to school with us through out here. It's done changed so much. I came out the one and lived down there. And uh, honestly, I'm blessed because people don't realize, like, I came from the gutter, like, gutter, gutter. And it wasn't nobody but me that was gonna get me out of it. And luckily my brother, my two sisters, we all came out of it and we all became, you know, something, we all became something of ourselves and none of us lived there. And you know, we've all actually got really good jobs now and are doing a lot of good things. So I just thank God for everything, you know? But yeah, this is where I live. I just wanted to give you guys who I am and uh, kind of introduce y'all to me um, those are new to my channel, uh, Exotic Car Blacklist. You know, this is Humble Begins, and this didn't start from somebody giving me anything. So I hope you guys tune in um, to more because, honestly, your boy trying to come up again, even more. So thank you all, and I'll see y'all next episode.